Hi everyone, I'm Adrienne and today I'm going to show you um, water colouring with colouring pens um, which are a water based dye ink and they're from a scrapbook.com I'll put a link in the bottom of the comments um, to the ones that I'm using so this is a very vibrant blue that I'm using and the pens have two ends so there's a very fine tip and then there's a longish brush tip end so what I've done first is use the fine tip to just draw out my outline of what I'm doing so that I've got a base guide to start with and then what I do is I use the other end to put onto plastic so you need a surface that the ink's not going to seep through to so you can mix your paint and pick it up with your brush so I'm using the water and the ink to pot on the picture and I find with no water the um, the lines a lot darker so where I want more more colour, um, darker colour, I don't use water and to blend it out and just to have a bit more of a softer effect I put some water with it. So just keep going through and just blending and doing the outline there. So I'm just softening the hard lines I did with the outline that I drew. So this to me is a bit of a symbol. I had a, we've had a bit of a rough week, but um, my husband more so than me. And um, he spent yesterday doing the eulogy for one of his friends. And I helped him. And I just felt really angry and wanted to do something to help clear my mind and I find that creating um, does that for me. So I've chosen a very vibrant blue um, because for my um, hobby business I have Oh, I did a live video a couple of weeks ago and um, Nikki had suggested that I do I do a theme a week and she suggested that I do vibrant colours so that's why I thought I've done, decided to do the vibrant colour today and also vibrant colours I really love um, they just they make me feel happy they just yeah they really I just love them they just and this blue just really, really pops. And then I was thinking, I was just thinking about how I was feeling and what I could see and everything that was going on. And I just, I just saw this wolf. Um, you know, it's this being that's, you know, mystical and it changes and evolves and they just and it just has no control over what what's happening. It just all of a sudden there's one thing and, and the next is something else that he has no control over and he can't stop. So this is just how I sort of saw um, the mental illness depression um, was in the form of this wolf and you know I just oh yeah the fi finished product was you know I just 
why couldn't you just ask for help? You know, why couldn't you just let it out? Um, it was just how I was feeling. I know myself and I, I've, I understand. Um, but it's still... Well, I don't actually. I don't know what was going through his head. But yeah, so that's my um, why I decided to do this. And I just keep going with the brush and blending the outlines and going through. And the nose and the eye, I use a grey colour which I'll pop down below as well and so what I did with the nose is I used the fine tip of the pen and I coloured that in and then I used a little just a little bit of water and just you know blended that out and the eye I didn't blend out so much because um, I wanted to keep the fine details on that so now I'm just yeah, using the grey to just put out some darkness. And what I did, which you won't see at the end, I stopped it. Um, oh yeah, I was really happy with the end product. Um, but yeah, after I stopped the video, I ended up doing the nose and just the outline I think in a black pen because I didn't think it was defined enough in the eye and a black pen and then what I did once it was all finished I actually uploaded it to the computer and um, did a bit of playing with um, yeah, I was really happy with it. Um, yeah, with some wording and the um, wolf and ended up with something that was semi-okay. I just wasn't happy with the proportions of the wolf to the words and the colour of the teal foil of the words and the wolf but what I'll do is I will f play around with the proportions and I will probably put some um, embossing powder on the wolf to tie in the two colours but yeah overall I was so happy with this wolf and um, yeah definitely recommend these this product to use it's so easy and the finished photo that's on this video is the not the final final product but it is it just gives you an idea of what you can do combining different techniques so your water colouring and your foil yes yeah, so I'm just making it darker Finding it a bit more. Keep going back. I think oh, it's not dark enough. It's not vibrant enough. So yeah, you can just. The trick is, is you can always add more. So if you start light and work your way you can just keep adding to it but yeah if you start too too heavy handed and go full for force it's hard to take things off but yeah if you just keep adding it's a lot easier so there's the finished product